In this video, we will be having a discussion about the cardiac axis. Cardiac axis is the net pathway of the uh, electrical current. This is the pathway uh, in which uh, the direction of the electrical current is ascertained, whether this is a normal or it may be deviated to the left or the right. So in today's video, we will be actually talking about the cardiac axis. Cardiac axis, we uh, give significance to two leads, lead 1 and lead AVF. Both of these are the uh, limb leads, uh, one is bipolar and one is unipolar. If we uh, look at this diagram, say this is hard, the net electrical current is flowing leftward and downward. Lead 1 is located between the left arm and right arm. Lead 1 is located here. This is bipolar. Its positive pole is at the left arm and negative pole is at the right arm. And lead AVF is located towards the left foot. Here it is lead AVF. This is unipolar limb load lead. This is a unipolar limb lead and is directly looking at the heart. It's a bipolar limb lead. Lead 1 is bipolar and lead AVF is unipolar. Both of these are the limb leads and uh, they are looking at the heart in a frontal plane. Lead 1 and lead AVF. When we talk about the uh, cardiac axis, we only consider lead 1 and AVF because these are looking uh, at the heart in a frontal plane. So, uh, because normally uh, uh, the net direction of the flow of the current of, uh, or the net direction of the flow of the electrical activity is, is leftward and downward. So, uh, it's going both towards the lead 1 and AVF and they are positive. When we talk about the normal axis of the heart, normal cardiac axis. In normal cardiac axis, both lead 1 and lead AVF are positive or they are upward deflection. Lead 1 is positive and AVF is positive and this is known as a normal cardiac axis. When you see lead 1 positive deflection and lead AVF as a positive deflection, that means electrical current is flowing both towards lead 1 and lead AVF and this is known as normal cardiac axis. But in case of the left axis deviation, when we look at the ECG paper, in case of left axis deviation, also called LAD, left axis deviation, lead 1 is positive lead 1 is positive lead and lead AVF is a negative lead that means electrical current lead 1 here, lead AVF is here, normally electric uh, cardiac axis is leftward and downward, 
but in case of the left axis deviation current starts flowing more towards the left side it takes this turn so lead 1 stays pos positive and lead avf becomes negative because now electrical electrical current is flowing away from lead avf so when electrical current is flowing away from the lead avf it becomes a negative deflection and because electrical current is flowing toward towards the left side and the lead one is located on that side so it stays positive so whenever you see on ecg lead one positive deflection and avf negative this is known as left axis deviation there are some causes of the uh, left axis deviation so let's see what are the causes of left axis deviation causes these are number one it can be a normal variant it can be a normal variant like in obesity secondly it can be because of left ventricular hypertrophy number three it can be because of left anterior fascicular block left anterior vesicular block number four it can be because of congenital heart disease congenital heart disease like primum atrial septal defect or it can be because of endocardial cushion defect fifth cause of the left axis deviation is pre excitation syndrome pre excitation syndrome like wp w syndrome wolf parkinson white syndrome the fifth cause is ventricular ectopic beats ventricular ectopic beats so if we look at the causes of the uh, left axis deviation these are the causes of left axis deviation if we look at the causes of the left axis deviation these are it can be a normal variant it can be a normal variant it can be because of the left ventricular hypertrophy it can be because of left anterior fascicular block can be because of the congenital heart defects especially primum atrial septal defect and endocardial cushion defect and it can be because of the pre excitation syndrome like the wolf parkinson white syndrome and it can be because of the ventricular ectopic beats so this is a left axis deviation where lead 1 is positive and lead avf is negative Now we look at right axis deviation. It was left axis deviation, and now we look at right axis deviation. In right axis deviation, lead one is a negative lead, downward deflection more than 
upward deflection lead one is negative and lead AVF is a positive lead. When lead one is negative and AVF is positive, we call it right axis deviation. Now, if we see this heart, lead one is located here, AVF is located here. So electrical current is flowing more on this side, going away from lead one, which, which becomes negative on the ECG paper and going towards AVF, which become po remains positive. So this is a definition of right axis deviation, where you see lead one, a negative lead, a downward deflection and lead AVF, a positive lead or upward deflection. So electrical activity or electrical current is flowing towards AVF and away from lead one. So like uh, left axis deviation, right axis deviation also has some causes. Let's see what are the causes of the right axis deviation. Number one, again, it can be a normal variant. Normal variant. Number two, it can be because of right ventricular hypertrophy. Right ventricular hypertrophy. It can be because of left posterior fascicular block. left posterior fascicular block, it can be because of pre-excitation syndrome, pre-excitation syndrome, it can be because of de dextrocardia, when the heart is located on the right side, dextrocardia and finally it can be because of the ventricular ectopic beads ventricular ectopic beads so if we have a look on the causes of the right axis deviation we see that it can be a normal variant it can be right ventricular hypertrophy this is what we see in the pulmonary hypertension in cases of the COPD and then emphysema in emphysema and chronic bronchitis. It can be because of the left posterior fascicular block. As we know, the left bundle branch has got two fasciculi, left anterior and posterior fascicles. It can be because of the pre-excitation syndrome, like WPW syndrome, which is because of an accessory pathway. It can be because of the presence of the heart on the right side, which is dextrocardia, and it can be because of ventricular ectopic beats. There is another form of the excess deviation, which, it, which we call extreme right excess deviation can also be known as extreme left axis deviation, extreme and the other names are indeterminate axis, indeterminate axis. What happens in indeterminate axis that lead one is a negative lead And also lead AVF is a negative lead. So in cases of the extreme right or left axis deviation or indeterminate axis, uh, this current is flowing away from both 
lead 1 and lead AVF. So both are negative deflection and this is known as extreme right axis deviation and uh, our indeterminate axis. It's a very rare phenomena and two of the very important causes of extreme axis deviation are one is ventricular tachycardia ventricular tachycardia and the other cause is pacemakers pacemakers temporary or permanent pacemaker or you can also call it paced ventricles when the ventricular activity is under the effect of pacemaker so these are the four types of cardiac axis if i make a table here just to give it a tabular form let's make a table this is normal axis this is normal axis this is left axis deviation this is right axis deviation and this is extreme right axis deviation extreme right axis deviation so what happens in a normal axis lead one is a positive lead lead one is a positive lead and lead AVF is also a positive lead so this is a normal axis but in case of the left axis deviation lead one is a positive lead but lead AVF is a negative lead In right axis deviation, lead 1 is a negative lead and lead AVF is a positive lead. And in case of the extreme right axis deviation, both lead 1 and lead AVF they are negative leads lead 1 and lead AVF so giving it a shape of a table now in normal axis lead 1 is positive lead AVF is positive in left axis division lead 1 is positive and lead AVF is negative in right axis deviation lead 1 is negative and lead AVF is positive extreme right axis deviation is when both lead 1 and lead AVF are negative leads so what we mean by negative and positive when the wave of depolarization or electrical current is flowing towards a particular lead that makes a positive deflection but when the wave of depolarization is going away from the particular lead it generates a negative or downward deep S wave. So this is known as negative lead. For example, in normal axis, both lead 1 and AVF see the current flowing towards them. But in, but in case of the left axis deviation, lead 1 looks at the electrical activity coming towards it, but AVF sees it going away from it. In case of the right axis devi deviation, reverse happens. When the lead one looks at the electrical activity going away from it and lead AVF looks at the current coming towards it. But in case of the extreme right axis deviation, 
boost the lead they look at the current going away from them so this is a basic concept of cardiac axis and i hope it will help a little bit in understanding what is the cardiac axis and what is the net flow of the electrical activity in any patients